That's a shirt. Yeah, so this is a uniform. Oh. Right here. Look at that. Okay. We have <laughs> some bullets from the time, some small shell pieces. Oh my god, they look like little rocks. Uh, pebbles. Yeah. I have no clue what this is. Annoying. Oh. Uh, I'm pretty sure <laughs> this is a nurse. uniform yeah. for a nurse, an apron. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. Okay. So here would be a soldier's bag, his kit bag. Here. Here we have a piece of barbed wire, which would have been lining no man's land at that time. Well, bullet casings, anyway. Yeah, this would have been maybe for a machine gun. Well, we'll look. It'll tell us everything. There's numbers on the back. So we'll put the put everything together. <clears throat> Whoa. And we have a shell casing. Yes, a shell casing, eh? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Last, this is a poster, a painting, I believe. Okay. It's like, it's like a treasure case. Oh, you got the... Uh... Propaganda posters. I've actually shown this one to the students. We have a helmet, yeah. and this would have been to see. Oh, the, the periscope. Oh, yeah. that's what they it's were. It's a periscope. Trench. Yeah, so the yeah. trenches are all zigzag. So they can see without getting shot. Yeah. yeah. There we go. So you should. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah, this is from the Canadian War Museum. So they have this thing called the Supply Line First World War Discovery Kit, uh, which teachers can order for a two-week period for free. So you just uh, go on the Canadian War Museum online and put in a request. And at first, uh, they weren't going to let us borrow it because we're an adult dead center, but I wrote them back. Uh, they changed their minds. So this is fantastic. This is unbelievable. Um, so we've been learning about World War I already. And today we're going to do World War II. We're going to have a full period to uh, explore well, now these artifacts, because they're here on time, which is fantastic, and um, some primary document replicas that I have, that I purchased and brought. Um, so we'll set them all out, and people will be able to really delve into everything that they're seeing here, um, and do some primary document, primary artifact analysis, thinking critically about what these were used for, and what it was like to live through World War I and World War II, both as a soldier and on the home front.